Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a co-owner at Lola Bella's LLC. We uh, founded our company in August of 2012 and we sell both printed and non-printed graphic t-shirts. Uh, right now we have 12 employees and we're actually looking to hire more. Uh, we produce about 200 to 350 a day depending on season and so that's about around 100,000 a year that we do. Technically should be doing more but we have to kind of stop that because of the pandemic. The average order that we have is kind of dependent on what category it's in and we're anywhere between 18 to 35 depending on the style, the brand and the design. We sell on Etsy. We have a couple of different niche markets. One of them is a bridal market. We're actually transitioning that over from vinyl over to the DTF now to give much more options before it was again, one or two colors. That was very time consuming to cut and to weed and all that. We're moving from single person orders to now wholesale orders that we're able to do because the Epson printers as well as the brother are able to put out orders at a very, very fast rate. I actually went to school, I studied pre-med and was getting my paramedic degree and my wife was doing psychology and we decided to give this a shot and if this didn't work out back then in 2012 we probably would have gone to grad school. So we're kind of happy that this worked out though. My wife, when we were in school, she's always been an entrepreneur. She always wanted to have her own business and it was an opportunity for us to work together and spend our time together. And that's not something that we've looked back on. Technically, no, we actually started a custom bracelet making company about two, three months before this. We noticed that there was a huge open market. The options, the designs were kind of lacking and my wife is an incredible designer. So we actually started with $5,000 and a one bedroom with loft apartment and within two months we had the entire thing filled with inventory supplies and really quickly we actually moved into a 1500 square foot office that actually within about four or five months we outgrew and now we're in 8500 square feet we've actually been doing the screen transfers since 2014 but that's one color and you can't really do that much with it we wanted to offer so many different colors of the same thing about six months ago we decided to look into DTG and we thought the possibilities of being able to do a wide gamut of colors gives us the ability to do such more intricate designs once we tried DTG we realized that the process itself didn't work for us and that's when Tony at All American suggested hey how about you look at DTF and we realized that it's a much more streamlined process and it produces an actually a greater quality product smoother finish softer feel than DTG when we started back in 2012, if DTG was an option, I would have gone with it. But the main concern is the entry cost for it. If they have the ability to purchase a DTG machine, then I would wholeheartedly say yes. We have a few different items. We have a Roland VG2540, which we actually started doing on heat transfer vinyl really didn't work as well as we thought it would. So from that, we purchased the Epson F2100. At the same time, also the Brother GTX Pro. We realized with the amount of orders we want to go to, and we predict that next year we'll have 100% growth, those won't be able to handle it. So I talked again with um, Zach, who was my sales rep at All American. He said, well, why don't you look at the Epson F3070? And we did, and now we have two of those. I prefer the Epson F3070 for a few reasons. The main one is its speed. It's much faster rate than the Brother GTX. The quality of print I've noticed is pretty even. Print colors are pretty close. One main reason why I like the F3070 is cleanliness. It's not something you consider, but the inside of the machine remains so clean compared to the Brother. It's incredibly easy to maintain. Brother has a problem with the humidity. If the humidity level drops below 35%, it will clean the print head every single print and that delays production. The Epson F3070 does not have that problem. I will not completely just say I don't like the Brother GTX. One thing I really do like about it though is the Pro Bulk ink system where you can have eight liters of ink as opposed to one, but that's not really one advantage that I would choose the Brother over the Epson. The cost of ink is pretty close to each other, but I did notice that using the Cathari NeoRip software puts down a lot less ink required to give the same amount of coverage. So you're actually saving money on the the Epson because it's using less ink. The cost of both machines are relatively close for the Pro Bulk and the F3070 support that 
that you get both from All American and from Epson is exceptional. I have had a, to have a tech come out and they came out next day and making sure that we run smoothly and are able to get our quantity of orders out. I do believe that if you have the wherewithal to start a company on your own or with help and you have the motivation and drive to do it, that yes, you should jump right into a direct to garment printer. But it's my recommendation is that you actually do use that printer for direct to film because it produces a higher quality result. And in the end, it's actually cheaper than doing direct to garment and you bypass the very messy phase of pre-treating. I would not recommend that, but I would definitely recommend direct to film with a direct to garment printer. I would recommend going for financing and getting the right equipment. And again, everybody at All American can help you with that to make the right decision. Uh, there are companies out there like Geneva Capital that have really great interest rates for equipment financing. Once you move over to DTF and DTG and you're able to get the volume of orders out, that covers that cost really quickly. Our core value is to provide products that will put a smile on our customers' faces. We want it to make an experience. We use brightly colored packaging. We wrap things beautifully. We fold it nicely. We want them to receive something exceptional. We only pick the best uh, materials. We pick the softest materials. During the pandemic, this was kind of their only recourse. They were only able to do this, and that's something that we pride ourselves on. During the pandemic, right at the offset once they were talking about all the restrictions that were going to happen, our sales plummeted. We had canceled group orders, canceled cruise orders. One major issue, like many other companies have gone through, is supply chain problems. Inventory and stock has been a tremendous difficulty during this time. Pretty soon, once everybody was kind of quarantined at home, our sales actually went up dramatically because people were no longer able to go out and shop. Obviously, online sales went up really well and our wholesale suppliers always had such large inventories, but now whenever something comes in, it gets sold out rather quickly. So unfortunately, we have to start stocking up so we can make sure that all of our customers get exactly what they want and not having to message back and forth saying, we're sorry, we're out of that. We wanna be able to have it. We realize how fortunate and lucky we are that we were able to do very well during that time period. All American Print Supply has been exceptionally helpful for our business. When I was doing my initial search for DTF, I called in and I spoke with a sales rep named Zach. He never once felt annoyed or bothered that I was there, which is I've actually felt with several other companies that they don't wanna take the time and talk with you. So I believe that All American's ability to sell the product and know what they're actually talking about and taking the time convinced us to go with them as opposed to other ones. Tech support guys, who whenever I called I needed a question answered, they were always there. They, If they weren't there, they called back really quickly and they helped troubleshoot what we needed. And eventually I ran into Tony, who kind of does everything. He has been my main point of contact now in figuring out uh, the transition from DTG to DTF, the software, everything related to that. One thing that Tony has been really great at is he's always there when I need to call him with any question that I have and he's very fast at figuring out what the problem is. He helped us troubleshoot it and we were able to get it working rather rapidly rather than some other companies have had to deal with in the past where it's you leave a voicemail, you'll get a car back within 48 hours and then it's usually not all that helpful. One piece of advice if we could give to somebody is be prepared for the effort you have to put in and don't hire too soon. Make sure that you're able to maximize your capacity first before you hire employees because that has this whole set of issues. One thing that we realized is the amount of effort and energy that it goes into run your own business. You just sometimes have to do it. You have to put the legwork in, you have to put the effort in and energy. It's difficult, but it's extraordinarily rewarding. And that's one thing that we've never looked back on and said it wasn't worth it. My wife and I joke that the business was our first baby. It's like a newborn. It's always there. You have to always respond to customers. You always have to make sure you have what you need. It's a lot of effort and energy, but it's worth it.